Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus, so this is for your sun, moon, and rising sign. Please take the messages that resonate, leave the messages that don't fit. This is a timeless reading, so whenever spirit brings you these messages, that's when they were meant for you. So you're starting off with creativity. Play your own song. Beautiful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos, supporting my channel. I truly appreciate it. So let's see what we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Play your own song. I feel like Spirit is telling me that some of you may have been focused on other people or other or another person and kind of not focusing on yourself. And that message may not be for everyone, but I feel like you're changing that that tune, you're changing that song. You're you're going to be focused on yourself, maybe your own creativity, your own passions, your own hobbies. Okay, so bottom of the deck, overall energy. You have the Six of Swords. So this is about you moving forward, moving from choppy waters to smoother waters, things getting better, things improving. This, is, uh, this could also be a change of perspective as well. So you're starting off with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about, you know, planting your seeds, tending to them. You know, um, it's about having a bit of patience. Ace of Cups. This is about a new beginning coming in. I feel that, you know, you are passionate about the seeds that you've planted. You're tending to them. And I feel that you're tending to them with love and care and a very fulfilled energy. I feel that you believe in the things that you're investing in, whether it's yourself, whether it's your future. You have the Three of Pentacles here. You could be investing in your education, going back to school. Three of Pentacles are, is about working together with, with a group of people, like apprenticeship. You could be learning something, um, but it's about expansion, either expanding on your finances or your, your security. Now you have the Five of Cups here. So with the Five of Cups sometimes, this is about looking at the past, past sorrows, past regrets. You know, make sure you come in from the energy of the things you that didn't work out in the past. What can you learn from those situations, right? And then move on. You can't sulk in this energy because you have two opportunities behind you. With this card, this is about what you focus on, right? Make sure you're focusing on your highest good. You don't wanna focus on regret or sadness or pain because you have the high priestess here. This is you tapping into your intuition. This is a, a very beautiful energy. This is you leading with your heart, leading with faith. For some of you, it may be blind faith. You know, you might have some type of plan and you're just like, look, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I know it's gonna work. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about the how. The universe, your spirit guides, your angels, they're gonna worry about the how. Whatever your plan is, whatever you're focused on, it's definitely something that's going to provide you with expansion with the Three of Wands showing up here. So next you have the Ten of Swords, some type of ending, um, potentially painful, uncomfortable ending. Um, know that things are gonna work out fairly. You know, balance is gonna be restored. You could be ending a relationship with a person um, that doesn't serve your highest good. It could be romantic or platonic. You could be, you know, ending a situation with a job. You could be ending Oh, uh, a negative way of thinking with the Six of Swords here.
And you may have to tap into your inner strength with this ending. You know, but know that things are getting better. You have happiness here. You know, that that ending may not have been uh, the most comfortable energy. But you know, with any ending, there's definitely new beginnings. And you guys are moving into calmer waters. So you have compliments from an admirer. So some of you may have a uh, someone trying to court you. Someone trying to get your attention. Or if you're in a relationship, maybe someone is trying to celebrate you. Could be some type of anniversary you guys are celebrating. Let's see what we have. So this message may not resonate for all of you. You have cat, two-faced, friend, you know, that may be who you're ending the situation with. Someone that wasn't honest. You have vacation here. Take a break. Go within, recharge your batteries, you know. You may be dealing with an arrogant, boastful person, right? Someone that's stubborn. Look at that. Doesn't spirit come through? Staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. You have nothing to worry about. You are protected spiritually. You have nothing to worry about. Things are going to get better. You know, things don't change overnight, but you will see the progression. Things will get better. Um, you're going to be moving away from this lack, from this energy of loss. You're going to be you know, tapping into your potential of growth with the Empress here, you're going to be tapping into your, your expansion. You're going to be building, you know, it may not be the easiest energy at some times. You may be stressed out or worried, doubting, but look at that right on the other side of all that stress and worry, the 10 of Pentacles, security, finances coming in. So you guys hang tight because Things are getting better. Your ships are coming in. You're going to be able to expand. Um, make sure you protect your energy with, with, with this person or the situation that you're cutting ties from. All right, so that concludes your reading. Um, please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you could, please hit the bell notification so you are notified whenever I post a video. So you guys take care, be safe, and until next time.